It covers 100 acres. It has a rich road network. It has well-organized infrastructure. And it has things that look unfamiliar. The community around are watching in awe of the unfolding development. For sure, this is a different kind of farm. One being set up on the Songhai model. But what exactly is the Songhai model? Godfrey Zamuju, the creator of Songhai, explains. Songhai is a project of a new African society, a new cream of individuals who have the knowledge, the skill, and the value system. This is the key. To unlock that thing, you need man, woman, man, the new African man capable of doing new science, not just blah, blah, blah talking. The Songhai model is anchored in the philosophy of man being in harmony with nature. In nature, there is no waste, as waste from one thing is a resource to another. Look at you and the plants. What is the waste from the plant? Oxygen. What is the waste from us and animals? Carbon dioxide. What is the input to the plant? Carbon dioxide. So when you combine plants and animals like us together, that's less waste. This natural self-sustaining cycle is being replicated here at the Songhai Modo site in Kampiri Ingisa. At the compost unit, we receive waste from all around the farm. But mainly, we, we are utilizing the decomposable waste, the plant material and the animal waste. Uh, using that material, we make these heaps, like one I'm stand just, that is just in front of me and the others that are covered just beside, as you see. Um, it takes three months for it to become manure that can be used in our field. The advantages of this unit is one, it boosts our soil. Two, it helps us to deal with our wastes all around. Instead of burning them and wasting them around, we have added value to them by making compost. Another product from the compost unit is liquid affluent or liquid manure. This produced from animal waste, mainly cow dung, and fresh plant materials such as weeds. The manure is used to introduce nutrients directly into the crops. This self-sustainability goes beyond soil boosting. It is also of value to fish farming. Currently at this pond, we are fertilizing the pond. Uh, and by fertilizing, I mean we are making this pond ready for, for habitation of our tilapia. And with the fertilization, we use organic materials, we use chicken droppings, we use cow dung from the animal section, which we introduce into this pond. And uh, it's drained, the nutrients are drained out of that material into the pond. This helps provide food, and uh, food especially for the algae and the fungi, which are eaten. By the, by the fish, so this will create the food for our fish. When the fish ponds are drained, the fertilized water with fish dropping, it's channeled into gardens to boost the soils even more. So far, so good. But nothing really out of the ordinary. Things begin to get different at the secondary integration level. Under this model, we don't put on the market fresh produce as it is. We don't put on the market popos, we don't put on the market tomatoes, we don't put on the market, you know, chukamba. We go ahead and process that. We make soap, we make Vaseline, we make different items from the different, we make uh, the jams, the confectionaries, we make juices from everything that we produce. Even more amazing is that beyond all the products from the value addition, the farm itself is a product, offering agro-tourism and training services. The communities from around the Songhai Modo site in Kampiri Ingisa are already benefiting from the skills training. Among these are the youth from the Kampiri Ingisa Rehabilitation Center. <laughs> I 
nefuna kataka kange katono nentandikirao nga nsola kusimba mechi nte solo kunyamba nefuna musente nensolo kusasulira kusoma kwange Adolescent girls and women from the surrounding villages of Mayira and Mbute are also happy with their work at the site. Jaga nyo kubuli la avantu vok chalo, bajewano, baigire kufi, kubintu vye tukolano, ni dagali etukosa. Bale moku damo kosa li dietdala. Kwa etisela chige no tuka, etakali ono neke, batuko kuli mevili menga tebiva yoburunji. So far, 14 youths from Uganda have received comprehensive training in the Songhai model from Benin. For now, they are Uganda's hope in propagating this model across the country. I want to train young people like me out there, uh, mentoring in secondary schools about this model and uh, in workshops and uh, also replicate it in my home district, Ngora district. I want to replicate this model back home there because I've known, I, I see that this model, when really embraced, has a, a positive impact in the country. For example, uh, jobs for the young people, the women out there, and uh, also the other thing with the model is it uh, respects the environment. So I feel this is the right model for the country, for communities out there to take on.